Azine card, and today I finally have the Secrets of Eternity booster box opening up for you guys. Uh, I just received this in the mail today. It is, of course, Tuesday as of this recording. Uh, it took a little bit longer because uh, Martin Luther King Day was yesterday, so yeah. So let's go ahead and get right into the box. And hopefully we can pull some pretty epic stuff because I don't think this set has too many great stuff, but quite a lot of decent stuff as support for other decks as well, so yeah. Main thing I'm really looking for, I guess, would just kind of be the Burning Abyss stuff, and probably, in my opinion, I kind of really want the Necro stuff, so yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, we're using this Sneak Peek playmat since I was able to win that in my raffle, so yeah, very nice. Alright, first pack. Alright, first pack on the right side. Just gonna go ahead and kind of skim through the comments just because it would take quite a while, so hopefully you guys can see it well enough. And we have a rare Dragon Dowser, which I haven't seen before yet, so that's kind of cool. Set that off to the side right there. Form pal, random stuff. Yep. Next pack. Infernoid. Oh, good, they'll send you. A rare tenacity of the monarchs. And a super rare, super heavy samurai warlord, Susana. Well, pretty nice, I guess. Especially since if you're running super heavies. It's pretty cool. It's kind of glad it wasn't my ultimate, but I do hope I do get an ultimate in this box. Really want to get that gun near though, because I think it looks beautiful. Next pack. Ritual Beast stuff, Raid Raptor. A rare Frontline Observer for a rare. Spike Eagle. Kind of the same with our commons. Go, go, go. A rare UA Block Packer. So, saw what the foil was. Kind of unfortunately, but hey, it's a runized pendulum dragon. Why not? So we pulled the cover card, ultra rare. Because that's kind of cool. Ooh, Mistress of the Nose. It looks pretty awesome right there. Yeah, definitely probably one of the weaker ultras to pull out of the set. I don't think there were that many good ones either, unfortunately. So yeah. So, so far, kind of lackluster, but eh, at least we're getting foils. Which were guaranteed. A rare Libic Malbranch of the Burning Abyss. Is this the good one? No, this is the bad one. Keep on getting him. Ooh, Gigabyte. Yeah. Go. A rare UA Playmaker, Spirit Beast, next pack, yeah just destroyed this pack, Raid Raptors, a rare Cagnia, Malbranch of the Burning Abyss, uh, Mills of Burning Abyss Spell or Trap from your deck. And a Super Rare Infernoid Antra. Nice. So getting those Infernoid stuff is pretty cool. Possessed. A rare Performa Pal Trump Witch. And nice! Secret Rare Co-Porf Monolith. She think that might be the most expensive Secret Rare in the set right now. So, yeah, very nice. Definitely awesome right there. And the Trump Witch is pretty cool if you're playing a Polymerization deck. Or any way you can tech it in. So, yeah. This box has already been worth it, in my opinion, since I don't think you can really break even that easily with Secrets of Eternity, unfortunately. So, yeah. Gotta take what you can get. 
and definitely will accept that monolith. Got him second call for our rare. Set that off to the side. Next pack. That would be really awesome if we could get a double secret box or even the ghost rare. I think the ghost rare is the Burning Abyss. So, rare Gem Knight Lap Lady Lapis Lazuli. Yep. Two more packs left on the right side. We actually were able to pull quite a lot of our higher rarity stuff on the right side. A rare void expansion. Pretty sure that's for yeah, infernoids. Got to kind of organize this pile off on the side. Last pack on the right side. Yeah. Stupid pack. Virtual Beast, a rare UA Turnover Tactics, and a Super Heavy Samurai Flute is super rare. It's pretty interesting. I think you can try to play that in Super Heavies, I think, because you tribute them and you special summon one from your hand, so it's an easy way to get out your bigger ones, which is your star player of the deck, in my opinion. Next pack. A rare tenacity of the monarchs, rare. A rare gem knight lady lapis lazuli again. Playmaker and a super lightning rod lord. It's actually kind of interesting, I think. Neither player can activate spell cards during main phase one. Hmm, there might be a way that can be good. Reminds me kind of a Danko Seca, but who knows? Maybe someone can make it break. Raid Raptor's Nest, rare, and a Quilforce Stealth. I think this is also the other one you play, so very nice we pulled the Quilforce stuff that's needed in the set. Yeah, definitely awesome to add to my collection. So I think this box has already been worth it. So I did pre-order it for $70, so yeah, that's a thing. Winkle. Uh, another rare UA turnover tactics. Uh, just destroy the pack. Extra net. Rare doggy diver. It's kind of weird. Pack. Line. A rare frontline observer. I think we got like quite a bit more packs left. Hopefully, the video won't be too long. Pendulum shift. Another rare perform pal, Trump Witch. Ooh, Despot. A 
Inferno Patrulia, a rare, and a Super Heavy Samurai Trumpeter, super rare. I think we pulled all of the full Super Heavy Samurai stuff in this set, and I'm pretty sure they're all just kind of supers, unless you get the Ulchi version. I think we got two more packs after this one, something like that. So, come on, let's see, can we pull an ulti? If we can, that would just make this box so much sweeter. Blossom. Uh, Necrot Psycho Rare. Only rare in that pack. Yep, two more packs left, so one more pack after this one. I'm not sure if we pulled everything 